back with your next English lesson. Um, before we begin, let's just check if we've got these four things here. So let's just check if we've got your English book, um, a sharp pencil, a ruler, and then also um, I should have put on Dojo and sent to your parents um, a word bank sheet, which is what we're going to need today. Um, if you haven't got a printer, um, that's absolutely fine, and you haven't been able to print it out, um, that's fine. I've got a, I've got a picture of it on the next slide, and um, maybe just spend some time copying it out into your, out into your book because I feel like um, we're going to need each section today. Um, but if you've if you've been able to print out the word bank sheet, brilliant. Make sure you've got that ready. Um, so pause the video if you need to get anything now. OK, great. So today we're going to be using descriptive language to d help describe a scene. Um, so before we begin in your English book, let's just write um, the date and learning objective. So pause the video to do that now. OK, great. Um, also, if you haven't got the um, setting description word bank sheet printed out, um, pause the video and draw out this um, this uh, table in your book now. OK, great. So today, like I said, we're going to be using descriptive language to help describe a scene. And that scene is going to be the scene in La Luna um, uh, when they're in the boat and when the moon rises. So we're going to look into that uh, a bit in a second. Now, before we begin, um, just have a think. You don't need to write anything down. Just have a think. What are adjectives? Brilliant. An adjective helps us describe what a noun is. OK, have another think as well. Um, what is what is it when what's it called when we have an adjective first and then a noun? We have an adjective describing a noun. What's that called? Yes, that's right. That's an, it's a noun phrase, isn't it? Because it's the adjective. It's a few words with an adjective um, describing a noun. Brilliant. And today we're going to be coming up with some adjectives to describe different things in a scene, OK, or different nouns in a scene. Um, so before we move on, I'm going to just flick back to this sheet. OK, I'm going to make it a bit bigger so we can have a look at it. So I would like you firstly um, just to look at each individual title. OK. These five things are going to be the things we're trying to pull out of the of we're going to try to pull out of this um, of this video we're going to watch, um, which is the La Luna video again. And I would like you just to really pay attention to these five five things here um, and see what adjectives you can come up with. OK, so we're going to do them. Um, we're going to do them bit by bit. OK, so we're going to focus on one or two at a time just so we can take our time on it. So firstly, we're going to be looking at the sky and the stars and adjectives to describe those. OK, so I'm, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is get the video up quickly. Now I'd like you just to watch the video and then watch the, the um, sky and the stars to begin with. Um, and start jotting down some adjectives to help describe it. Um, let me just get up the video. Give me one second. OK, right, so just watch this little clip. I'm, I'm just going to play the first bit because that's um, where the sky and the stars will be most, uh, where, they, where they're showing the most. Okay, right. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm gonna let, let me just put it back because we're gonna have to use this a bit later on. Um, let me just go back to my slides. So come up. There we go. Great. So some of us may, may have already jotted down some adjectives. 
Um, here's another snapshot of the stars in the sky to help us come up with some more. Um, I've also banned a few adjectives. Um, so just check if you've got if you've got these in your word bank already. Maybe rub them out and think of some better ones because I'm expecting us to be. We're in year three now. I'm expecting us to be writing slightly better adjectives than these five ones here. Okay. So pause the video um, and use this picture um, to come up with a few more adjectives to describe the stars in the sky. OK, great. We should all have um, a nice list of them now. I'm going to quickly um, go to my word bank that I've made and I'm just going to reveal these first two boxes for you. OK, so here are my two banks of words um, or my two banks of adjectives, sorry, to help describe the sky and the stars. So for the sky, I've gone for inky, which means like black, very dark, endless, vast, pitch black, boundless and infinite. OK, so I'm talking either about what it looks like or maybe what um, maybe describing how it feels, how the sky feels and the size of the sky as well. And then for the start for stars, I've gone for twinkling, shiny, gleaming, glittering, sparkling and platinum, platinum, which is a colour. Um, it's a very shiny, very expensive metal that's really that's very shiny. And that, that's what I thought the stars looked like. Um, they were similar colour to that. So if you want to use any of these adjectives, that's absolutely fine. Pick one or two um, and put them in your word bank now. So pause the video to do that. OK, great. So the second um, two words we're going to look at are the, is the boat and the water. OK, so have a look here. So we've got water in the top hand, top right hand box and then the boat down boat box down here. OK, so um, I banned a few adjectives for this as well. So cold, wet and old. I don't I don't want us to be using those words. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to play the video. Just it will just be another short clip. Um, and start to jot down some um, words or some adjectives to help describe the water and the boat. So watching the video again. second. OK, so I've got a few more screenshots just of the video. So can you see here the boat here when um, the, the dad's rowing? Um, the boat sat in the water whilst they're waiting and then it's a close up of the boat as well. You can see the, the different um, you can see the water as well a bit um, in these pictures as well. So um, if you haven't got um, many words jotted down already, um, use these pictures to help you um, jot down some more words. Pause the video to do that now. Super. So we should all have some really nice adjectives to describe the, the water and the boat. Um, I've got a few more here that um, if you need some inspiration or if you need a few more in your bank. So for water, I put bitter because not not bitter in terms of the taste, bitter in terms of it's bitterly cold. OK, so that could, that's another adjective to use. Uh, gentle, because I thought it, did, it didn't really move much. It was very gentle. It was very calm. There wasn't many waves, was there? Was there? Um, calm, which is similar to gentle, freezing, which is similar to bitter, tranquil, which is a lovely word, um, that's similar to calm and gentle. It means very peaceful, very calm. And then, of course, peaceful, like I just said. Um, for boats, um, I've gone for wooden, rotting, cold. I just realized I've banned the word cold. Let's have a look. Oh, I have banned the word cold. Let's not use that. Put cold, maybe think of another word. I might think of another word now. Um, 
freezing. I'm going to put freezing as well because I feel like um the boat the boat's going to be very cold as well because it's been in the freezing water. Brilliant. So I've gone for wooden, rotting, moist, damp, slippery, and freezing. So if you need some more words for water or boat, write them down now in your word bank. Okay, great. Let's go on to the last. Um, let's go on to our last set of adjectives we need to come up with, and that's to describe the moon. Do you remember in the video when the moon rose up from the horizon? Um, we're going to come up with a few adjectives to help describe that. So, it's the last time um, we're going to be doing this. Is the last uh, group of words we're doing today. So, I've banned a few more adjectives for this: big, bright, and large. Okay. So, I'm going to play the clip one more time. Give me one second, put it up. OK, watching the clip one more time. OK, right, let me just put, put it back to the slides. OK, great, so we should also we should have um, jotted down maybe a few a few more adjectives to describe the moon. Here's another big picture of it as well. Um, use this picture as well if you want to jot any more adjectives down now. So pause the video if you want to do that, do that. OK, great. We should have some um, a nice list of adjectives now to describe the moon. Um, this is quite, it's quite a big feature, isn't it? It's um, very different to the other ones. Um, it almost it almost changes the whole scene, doesn't it? Um, so. If you want some more words, here's some um, in a list here. So I've gone for blinding, dazzling, giant, intense, because as soon as it rises up, it's so bright, isn't it? Beaming and glaring, OK? If you want to use any of these words, um, choose one or two now. Pause the video to do that. Brilliant. So we've got five different nouns and loads of adjectives to describe each one now, which is fantastic. That means we're really building up a really, a really nice word bank. Um, a little activity for you now. Um, I would like you to think of a simile to describe one to three of your adjectives um, in your word bank, OK? So I'd like you to use one of your adjectives to describe this noun and then use a simile to help um, enhance that, help it make sound a bit better. So say if I could, I might put, um, oh, blinding moon. Um, yeah, blinding moon like um, a car's headlights. Can you see I'm um, I'm comparing it to something different? OK, compare it to something that sounds similar or might look similar, but isn't the same thing. So what I would like you to do is um, choose a noun, choose an adjective and then write a simile afterwards. So pause the video and have a go at doing that now. Super. Right, let's move on to the main activity that you're going to do um, to finish the lesson off today. So now we've got all of our words and we've been practicing our similes and writing noun phrases with our adjectives. I would like you to write a paragraph describing the setting of when the boy was sat in a boat using some using some adjectives we came up with this lesson. So we, we're going to be describing the, the, the moment um, just before the sun, just before the moon rises and they're sat waiting. Um, the boys sat waiting to find out what's going to happen. If you remember, it's very dark, very calm. The water was um, very calm. It was um, there was a lot of stars in the sky. Um, and I want you to be trying to trying to pick out each part um, of the scene and describe it with some adjectives. So I've got a model sentence or model paragraph here just just for you to have a little look at. So I'm just going to read this out. Shining stars twinkled in the inky night sky reflecting across our uh, reflecting across the bitter sea silence filled the air 
and not a sound was heard, apart from the gentle ripple of the waves against the side of the wooden boat. Suddenly, the vast horizon revealed the dazzling moon, like a giant disco ball floating in the air. Okay, so there's a lot of really nice grammar features included in there that I would love you to have a go um, using yourself. And um, I've also deepened the moment, which I would love most of you to have a go at. OK, so I'm going to go through the noun phrases quickly, all the adjectives that I've used, um, which make up a noun phrase. Um, so shining stars, there's one straight away. Twinkled in the inky night sky, there's another one, They're describing what the night sky looks like. Reflecting across the bitter sea. Oh, I just realised that that bitter has got three T's. Let me just get rid of that. Uh, Remember to always read through your work because you can spot little mistakes like that. Bitter C. There we go. Um, let me just get my highlighter back up. Silence filled the air and not a sound was heard apart from the gentle ripple of waves against the side of the wooden boat. There we go. There's another one. Suddenly the vast horizon. There's one there. I know we haven't come up with any words to describe a horizon. But um, there we go, saying vast horizon, a big horizon. Revealed a dazzling moon. There we go, there's another one. Like a giant disco ball floating in the air. Now, can you see that I've compared the big moon to a giant disco ball? So that is a simile, which I'm going to highlight in green. Like a giant disco ball floating in the air. Now, there's one other thing that, there's one other thing that I've used. Um, and that is a conjunction. I'm going to highlight it in yellow. Can you hear, see here I've put, I've used suddenly. OK, because then I made it into a complex sentence. So suddenly the vast horizon revealed the dazzling moon like a giant disco ball floating in the air. OK, and that is the last bit of deepening the moment. OK, so I would like most of us to be writing that just before the moon um, rises. But if you really want to and you really want to test yourself today, um, have a go at describing when the moon rises. because we've got, we've got the adjectives for it. So here's um, your paragraph for inspiration. OK, um, I would like you to write, write your own one. I don't want you to be copying this because um, we need to be doing our own work, don't we? OK, we can need to be using our own words. We're year three now. OK, so um, write this in, in your English book. Really nicely presented as well, so I can read it later on Dojo. Um, and I can't wait for you. Can't, can't wait to see what um, you've been written, been writing. Okay, so have a go at this, um, and I'll see you in the next lesson.